right. Probably won't even post this or show it, but uh, I'm just gonna do a real quick hotel review of um oh. hello. of uh so where am I? I went to sleep in at a Rehoboth, and I'm here for the last day of the year. It's the saddest thing. It's just the saddest thing. Look, look what I just look at this. I got the the you know buy three get one free. So this was one big objective of the trip. So score there. Uh, another objective was get some whelk shells from my favorite little beach, my hidden beach, and I did not find any today. So that's too bad. So anyhow, anyhow, decor, nice kind of teal color. I like the bedspread. Little art, so that's nice. It doesn't have to be good art, just not really bad art. Uh, you know, kind of a modern look. This is cool. So there's this armor. You know, it's kind of Ikea, but there is a safe down there, so that's nice. Standard unit. Cute accent lamps. That didn't come with it. Friends. Oh, that didn't come with it either. And yes, I'm still reading this book. I'm still, I'm, I, I look, I've hardly been reading a thing lately. It's atrocious. And um, so look, hey, you know, I got a guilty little secret. Whenever I'm at a hotel, I invariably find friends on because it's on almost 24 seven on, on some of these cable channels. Like I think TBS might be one of them. And, uh, you know, any guy who had a girlfriend or two or three during the time of the, the show friends, um, has seen at least a couple of these, if not, you know, almost all of them. So, um, you know, it's, it's for no other reason than just, uh, a giggle for old time's sake. It was a well-written show, you know, you can make a lot of criti uh, criticism uh, about them. You know, a lot of fair criticisms about the show. But it was well-written, and it's it's kind of funny, so... A little guilty pleasure of mine uh, whenever I'm in a hotel out of town. Uh, so... Let's see, uh, that's it. This room is really, really small. It's, it's horribly small, because I opted for a bathtub instead of um, instead of a suite, you know, and it's funny, the suite um, wasn't much more than a standard room at all, but I gave up the extra space because as I always said, I'm a poor working guy. My feet hurt. Dang it. And uh, yeah, you know, so got to enjoy a nice bath. Have a little sip here and uh hopefully get something of a sunrise tomorrow it's um cloudy it's supposed to be 80 and no rain tomorrow so really really hoping that holds up um you know i i i have kind of given up on the sun not being a part of the deal tomorrow. But if we could just have no rain and I could lay it on that beach, 80 degree weather, that would be cool. So, um, this room. Let's see. Uh, four out of five. Um, really no qualms at all on, um, cleanliness. Any of that stuff, you know. Um, I checked the bathroom. I'm not going to go back in there. It's very clean. There's nothing, no nasty hairballs in the, in the drain or anything. There's a mic. There's a fridge. There's a pitiful coffee maker. This thing is like nine inches tall. Look at this. That's sad. That's just sad. Um, but because of the horrible, <laughs> the, the horribly small, now we got a little paint peel up here. I'm not going to show you. Well, I'll show you. Look, there it is. Um, that's bad. They could easily fix that. I mean, that's just a real easy fix. I, I, 
I want to say something to him about it, but I probably won't. Maybe I'll leave a little note. I don't know. It's really not a big deal. And I'm not giving it a 4 out of 5 uh, for that. I'm giving it a 4 out of 5 because of the, the pitiful square footage here that we're dealing with. But again, that being said, all things being fair, you can get a suite here for a few more dollars. And uh, it's... Um, we're in the semi off season now, so you know, official off season is until October 15th. Um, but at this point, the hotel rates have come down quite a bit, uh, and, and parking's free, so yay! So let's hope for a good beach day tomorrow, guys. I'm not expecting to really take much, I'll probably you know take one tape of the surf at sunrise, hopefully, or something like that. I'm gonna hit the seashore state park tomorrow, and that's a really awesome place. Um, sorry, that's real boring to look at. Um, <clears throat> Delaware Seashore State Park, if I haven't told you, is um is beautiful, and hopefully I get there tomorrow morning. Um, it, that that's the like true barrier island part of of you know the, this part you know of the Delmarva, and uh it's just it's just like the Outer Banks. It, it's long, it's continuous, it goes for quite a ways, um and it's really beautiful. And the great thing is it's it's pretty desolate, um especially in the mornings. Um when you go out there, it, it's miles of nobody. Um, but just you and the pelicans and the dolphins, it's really awesome. Um, I, and I wish this GoPro, you darn GoPro, um, would, would, you know, do well in zooming um, and stuff like that, but it really doesn't. But um, I'll probably head down there and um, just take it easy and do a little drinking and, and eating some seafood and, and taking a nap on the beach. And this is it until next year. So, um, sleep in, four out of five, Rehoboth, not too bad. Um, a very fair price right now. I can't tell you what the in-season price is. I'm going to say the input season price is probably, oh, you know, it's terrifically expensive these days. And in this room, not putting it down, you know, it's not worth, you know, uh, a whole, whole lot. But I bet in season, it's probably around two, maybe a few less somewhere in there anyhow see you guys i will uh hopefully make it to the beach and have a good day tomorrow till then